what the fuck going on? I hope I don't get copyright strike for this, bro. Because last time I did anything involving Seahawks at life footage, like from the NFL or whatever, they fucking got me. They got my ass. But what's it called? Um, I'm just going to be watching the new. They got like three new press conferences, bro. I was watching the other ones. Last time, and I was like, damn, I'm going to watch these on stream next time just because it's like, fuck, we got a lot of new players and shit. It's like, you know, I want to, you know, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm about, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Well, first things first, the game jerseys at practice is fire as hell. You know we love that. You know we love that. To your strengths. Oh, the defense is really creative. Um, it, it's a lot of thinking, but you know we're professionals, so you know that just comes with the game. But it'll love be. Love to hear um, all of it, I man. Think challenging love to hear for all of it. Opposing. I don't really know much about Rashad Jenkins, bro. I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna be his fucking hype man. You know until he's out, out of Seattle, bro. I'm gonna hype every all of these new random dudes that I don't know of. I don't really know anything about him. I'm pretty sure I looked him up. He had like barely much. He might have had one pick on uh where'd he come from, bro? I think he was drafted by Chargers and then he came from the Jaguars. I think he had like one pick over there. I don't remember where he came from. But I mean he 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 a cool guy. His vibe's cool. We about to find out through this interview. In, but... Uh, for real. If you go back and watch, just there, number two is kind of fire though. But uh, what's it called? Uh, game jerseys, game jerseys. Fucking it's like the crazy. Baltimore film and everything like that. You'll see how difficult it was for, you know, any quarterback in the league to to kind of get anything on them. What's the difficulty in getting the concepts oh, down? Because yeah, he said it's not so much about the plays; mm -hmm. it's the communication and the concepts. And that, and that's exactly you're. Actually Hey, yeah, bro, and he's excited. You can see the excitement on him, bro, that just to talk about how difficult the defense is. It's like you don't want to be – if you win the NFL, you don't want to be doing some basic-ass fucking three fucking zone, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, bro, like you can just tell the excitement. Everybody – di wait, I didn't even realize defense – yeah, well, he probably going to say some more shit about it. I, she leave right right there. It's the communication. It's, can't wait, bro. Every I play, can't wait. every – movement on the offense every shift hey bro in every game i can bro i'm gonna be trying to have a little watch party or whatever a little reaction party to it you know? i'm gonna just be watching it live on stream you know of course not broadcasting the game i'm gonna just be sitting there and shit there yeah it's gonna be fun if every motion something has to be communicated we're never just sitting back in one defense so it's it's really creative really fun defense but you got to be on the details Testing at the snap, how new is that for you? And just being so multiple right at the snap, is that new for you in your career? Um, I would say fairly new. Um, I mean, a lot of this is is Somebody pre snap. That like pre snap is, is give the quarterback the same look every single time. Uh, we don't want him to know that we're in cover three, cover one, cover four, cover two, whatever it may be. So it, it's, I mean, like I say, you got to be just really poised in this defense. You visited with several teams during the free agency period. What jumped out about Seattle that made this the place you wanted to continue your career? Okay. Um, I mean, I wanted to go to a co contender. A, I wanted to go to a, you know, just a bigger market. Uh, I felt like Seattle was the the, the um, you know perfect place. Plenty of opportunity. Uh, I'm going into oh, yeah, you know bro. a team with a head coach that's you know defensive minded. Um, oh God. Oh God. And you know, quite frankly, team. out of San Francisco and. Seattle the taxes as well, so I had to, <laughs> I, had to I had to think about that. So what the fuck Has this dude? defense or this coaching so, staff forced you really would have went to 49ers if they had better taxes. You're a fucking little fucking cheesecake, dude. Anyway, uh nah, he looks fire in the jerseys, man. I, he could honestly he could have one crazy year and everybody in Seattle's about to be fucking as long as he's in the right spot and he go off. Go you to change him. the way that you study personally so that you can be a better leader on the team? Um, yeah, not so much study film, but study just internally as far as you better the calls. Study you have to, film, pal. especially playing, the, you know, that safety position. You are, you know, you the leader back there. So you got to 
really know everything. Like you have to communicate to multiple people. I want to play the cornerback, the wheelbacker, the nickel, you know, the mic. So you constantly have to tell people where you're coming down to uh, calls where it might get you in or out of blitzes and stuff like that. So it, it, it's, it's definitely challenged me as far as, you know, studying just the game internally, you know. With the, the confusion, you talked about wanting to create confusion with the mm -hmm. offense. How else do you do that aside from making everything look the same at the start? Oh, I wouldn't answer that question. I wouldn't answer that question. I would, I would really not answer that question, bro. I would say you'll see it during the year, bro. That sounds like a motherfucking 49er fucking like guy going and trying to get some dirt on us. Like, hey, how are you going to try confusing us out there uh, this year, actually? I would not answer that question. That question's fucking ridiculous, bro. Don't answer that. Um, I mean, you can do opposite as well. Like, you you could, like I say before, we could come out and we could try to give the opposing quarterback the same look every play, or we can show opposite of where we're dropping to, and you know, show to to where we're going to or whatever it may be. Uh, show zone, show man. So we can also mix it up like that. But for the most part, we want to kind of just, oh, just basic, keep it showing uh, everything. Oh, basic, the You're same really football the shit. Everybody's process, obviously. But from a position standpoint, how does what Mike McDonald and his staff are asking you to do compare to what you did with the Chargers and with the Jaguars? Um, I, I pretty much did like the similar, like the similar things. Um, I, I know that, you know, in the past I played like that dime role as well. And, uh, you know, we've even talked about that here as well. But we want to just make sure you know, we take it position at a time. So let's, let's learn the strong safety first. Let's long, learn the free safety first. Then maybe we can start, you know, when we get into those big nickel, big sub packages, then we can start plugging different guys in because our safety room is pretty versatile. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure uh, we'll have defenses where, you know, it'll be oh, three God. safety looks and everything like that. And even going back to Baltimore, you see them with a lot of just three safeties and stuff like that. So. Speaking of that, Rishon, when, when you see the success of Kyle Hamilton, you Who the fuck is mowing the lawn during press conference? Like, y'all mowing the lawn or some shit during, uh, right outside a press conference room? Yeah, it's very exciting. Um, it, you know, you just missing two guys that had, you know, high success in this defense. And I, I want to say um, Chauncey Gardner played in a similar defense as well uh, and when he was with Philly. So, um, I mean, just looking at the numbers and the stats from those players, you know, they, they, like I just said, they had high success in this defense. And I mean, we're looking forward to doing the same thing. I don't know if you were over there when Mike McCon was talking about Witherspoon, mm -hmm. but just a little bit of time you've been around, definitely Witherspoon, what have been your thoughts? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he's, a, he's a really talented young player. Um, Hell yeah. You know, for him to be, you know, not the biggest guy, he, he, he plays with a lot of heart out there. You can see it even from here. Uh, and then his, his, I was just thinking about this today, actually, but his, uh, his breaking on the ball is just elite. Like it's some of the best I've probably ever seen. I was literally just thinking about Hell it today. Yeah, I saw him bro. break up two passes, and it what like the receiver had a step or two on him. And closing speed is crazy. He just gets right to the ball, undercuts the ball. So he's gonna make a lot of plays as he's, you know, been oh, doing. Yeah, um, he gonna be, going you know, uh, coming off of last season. Who talks more, you or him? <laughs> uh, it might be a tie. I, I know he talks in practice a lot. I, you know, I kind of just, just, I'm learning in practice. I know these are my teammates. But once I get in the game, I, I, you know, I don't really know you like that. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of talk to you. <laughs> so. What are you learning about your head coach, whether it's personality-wise or coaching style? Uh, I mean, the main thing is, is he's patient. Uh, he, he knows that it's, it's day one, day two of OTAs right now out on the field. And, you know, he knows there's going to be some mistakes, but um, as far as mentally, but you know uh, the effort has to be there, uh, obviously, because that's something like you don't really have to teach. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and just little small things like that. But as far as Hell just yeah. learning the game, he he kind of lets that happen, you know, organically, and not kind of he he's not you know you might drop down or go somewhere you're not supposed to, and he's like you know what let's learn from it, let's 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 change it right here. You saw it now, then I expect for you to kind of start um, you know cleaning it up. And just as a matter, did you take oh my a visit god! Yeah. No, I, I took a visit to the 49ers. So I was. I bet uh, you fucking did. I went here first, 
then the 49ers. And I had two more visits set up. Wait, 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 wait. Did I call that shit? Because why the same dude who asked that shitty ass question about how are you, you, you guys plan on confusing people on defense? He just asked that same fucking question like, yo, did you go and visit 49ers? That motherfucker literally is a 49er fucking spy. Like, hey, yo, why didn't you come to 49ers, bro? But it's like, yo, how you gonna confuse us later, too? That dude's a fucking spy, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. I know a spy. I know a 49er ball head. He balled, too. You can just hear it. I know a ball headed 49er spy when I fucking hear it. Seattle called, made an offer. Then, I mean, they matched it, obviously, but going back to those taxes, <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna go. We go out here. Yeah. I don't like the fact that he's saying literally the only reason that he's in Seattle instead of going to 49ers because of the taxes. But anyway. Access facility is pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, this is great. This is like, I was just saying that the other day. Like, I'm on a lake looking at bald eagles fly, like, crawl across the sky and stuff. So it's, it, no, it's pretty cool. It's a little cold out here, but it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, thanks, 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 thanks,
you know, respect those guys that have kind of laid the foundation in front of them. So um, we got a great group. Yeah, really excited. The guys are uh, working well together. In terms of continuity, you guys have all the edge guys back from last year. What are your early thoughts on seeing a healthy Uchida Nuosu out there, Boy Mape, yeah. and Daryl Taylor, and all those Yeah, it's, just, it's great to see him out there and working and communicating. I mean, we're, we're working through how we're going to structure our pass rush and who's playing what spot and kind of what shakes down and what makes sense and what hits and all those things. So, I mean, this is a great time of year to, to, to sharpen the sword, so to speak, and kind of understand, you know, build the foundation, kind of build a platform to jumping off point for when we come back in the fall. And then even, then, even when that happens, you know, it's a, you're going to constantly evolve of where you're going to put guys and how you're going to interact and what groups you can put out there. And if you're not doing that, you get static and, and you kind of become, you know, you know offenses kind of get a beat for what you're doing. So you got to keep it moving. How about you personally? You joked about not talking this much, but now that you've got more practices under your belt, where have you seen a change in how you approach it or your comfort level? Yeah, well, I mean, you're just, you're having interactions with guys, and that kind of gives you a feel for how you know guys tick, and um, you know how, what types of conversations you want with who. So, again, it's a process, and it takes time, and there's no magic wand you can just wave, and everybody just gets along, and there's all this mutual understanding about how we're going to operate. It's we're just like chasing the mutual understanding of what kind of football team we want to be, and it's just this constant chase of what we want. You know? Spoon knows, you know. He's like, well, you know, a couple conversations with Mike. But, yeah, I mean, that's that's what we're shooting for. And today was a great testament. Let him know, about, Coach. You know, Let him know. As a team. Mike, you were, you were asked a lot about Daniel Smith this offseason before you've really been around him. Uh, just now that you've been around him a couple of months, you've seen him on the field. What have been your impressions of Gino? Uh, he's highly competitive. I love how Gino works. Um, we're pushing him to take the next step as a, as a football player and as a leader. And um, and I think oh, he's, yeah. he's answering the call. So, Really excited about yes, uh, sir. about Gene up to this point. Just getting to know him, you know. But um, just really such a such a respect for how how hard this man works at his craft. How's that help? Big fan. I mean, I think he's coming along fine. It's again, we're, we're oh. practice for practice too. Um, you know, there, it's funny. You know, you sit in, in the offensive staff watching practice with the guys, and there's things that offensive oh, coaches it's Gino Smith, notice buddy. with the whole team. You know, that you don't he's necessarily like, see man. from like the defensive perspective. So, uh, but I thought he, I thought he had a really good practice, and he's slinging it. But uh, just like the rest of the team, I mean, he's got a lot of work on. You know, I got a lot to work on. It's just, but I think we all have that mentality of how we want to, of how we want to approach it. So I think Sam's right there. I think uh, it's an exciting future. He needs some work, man, Gino. Yeah, each uh, each situation is unique. I mean, Michigan, we took it really, really slow. Uh, what we were trying to do was very foreign to the guys. Uh, it took a long time, and we and we took our time, and, that, and that's okay, you know. But we're we're, we're chasing execution. Uh, at Baltimore, the first year was was similar more to Michigan than you'd anticipate. The second year, they had a good, pretty pretty good baseline, so we were able to get along with a good clip. So, I think if you go in with an open mind of hey, let's do what makes sense for this group, I think that's where you end up in the right spot. With your linebacker coaching background, not having contact right now, rookie like Tyrese Knight, some of the other undrafted guys out there, what do you think are the most important things to see progression-wise in that position before you get into training camp? Yeah, I think I think it's uh, – I hate to make, keep making these blanket statements, but it really is the whole defense and really the whole team. I mean, you're looking at uh, communication in and out of the huddle, you know, pre- and post-snap, alignments, cool. how fast they're reacting. Um able to execute your technique without having to go like combative against the next guy across you. In the run game, it gets kind of tough because, you know, the runner's going to run through the defense. And um, when you, it seems when you go back and watch it on tape, you're like, oh, there's a guy right there. We would have made the play. And, um, you know, those are some assumptions you have to make uh, until you put the pads on for real. And that's okay, but that's, that's, the, uh, that's where we're at. But those are the things you're looking for. What have you learned in the last month or maybe the last two days about how to run a practice, how you want to run it? Well, I think I think uh, I think we had a pretty clear vision about how we wanted practice to go. I mean, we want it to be fast. We want to execute. We want to be loud. We want to get the job done. We want to get the heck out of here. You know, so there's not a lot of lollygagging around. Um, but to make it, it's we want it. We were again. You don't practice to practice. You're practicing to, to train to go play the game. So a lot of the decisions that we're making are you know with, inspired by that kind of principle behind the whole thing. Where is Abe Lucas in his recovery? Oh God! It's hard. It's hard to tell. You know, it's hard to tell. I mean, uh, we're shooting Abe's, for camp right now, so. Um, but yeah, Abe is Abe's, uh, still. Abe's getting after. Damn, I did not so know I'm, I'm Abe was still injured. Now.
We didn't see Anthony Bradford out there today. Is this something? Yeah, yeah, he tweaked his ankle uh, yesterday. Shouldn't be, it shouldn't be long. Mike, what do you do in the debate coordinators? Getting to work with them a little bit here over the last month or so. Is it something new to you as well? Uh, yeah, I, you know, I'm. We're in a great spot. We get, I think we hired two two great people, um, two really good football coaches, uh, working more hand to hand, hand in hand with AD on a daily basis, just getting the defense organized and installing and things like that. But really excited about AD, the connection he's been able to make with the defense, um, how he orchestrates the front. We've been able to bounce a lot of ideas off one another, so that's been really fun. <coughs> and then Grubb, I mean, he's talking about really detailed, detail oriented guy. He knows exactly what he's looking for. He's very precise. We talk about it as a team. We're, always, we're like. We want clarity in everything we're doing. You know, we want the guys to know exactly what the expectations are, exactly what they're, you know, what's being asked of them, and um, he has that. He's he's a very clear communicator for sure. Is the goal to have the install done by the end of the weekend? No, no. Uh, baseline. Yeah, that we're chasing the baseline, base fundamentals. You'll see, it's it's not a huge install. It's a, it's concepts. So we'll get the base concepts in, and then and then we'll go from there. Getting the course out of the card a little bit here, but you guys are playing your former mentor Jim Harbaugh in the first preseason yeah. game. Do, do you have interest in maybe doing some joint practices with him down the line? Uh, down the line, maybe, but uh, this year we're not going to. But it'll be it'll be uh, it'll be fun to see those guys and um, and see Jesse and you know some of the other coaches that we're familiar with. But um, yeah, it'll be fun to go down there and, and uh, get after it a little bit. Mike, when you have clarity from the coaches. And to the players, what does that enable you to do? Can you, can, I'm sorry, you're you that. clarity in terms of the players. You just said, you know, the coaches are clear. Yeah. And you're making that clear with the players. Well, it well. makes you, it lets you play the right way. You know, if I know exactly what's expected of me, how I'm supposed to do it, I'm now bored of this play one already. Want, you know, on both sides of the ball. So if it's out there and it's gray, that slows you down. You know, you're just coming, put yourself in those in those positions of those guys out there and, you know, where do you stand? What do you Mention look at? Mention Tariq Woolen or something. All those types of things. I mean, um, you know, that's why it takes so much time. You know, and that's that's what differentiates good teams from from great teams. Uh, he asked that already, but that's okay. But it's uh, to simulate the game as much as we can as baseline. Uh, Terrell Dotson and uh, Jerome Baker, we didn't really see them out there today. Are they okay? Or? Yeah, T, uh, T Dot's out there, but he's limited and. Um, Bakes in the in the in house, but he's rehabbing right now. You talk about making it as game like as possible in every possible way. Was that something that you took yeah, yeah, mostly from Baltimore? Yeah, yeah. Or are there other stops along the way where that was kind of drilled into you? Over that was mostly from from John, and uh, just wow. just makes sense, you know. I mean, we're not going to practice to practice great. We're practicing to go uh, go out there and, and play games in a game like scenario. So. What do you, uh, Reek Woolen, what you, just in general, what have you kind of seen out of him? This time last year, he had just had knee surgery. Nah, that's crazy because I was about to leave, and then I said, nah, I mentioned Tariq Woolen. They actually did. And it kind of, you know, he missed this whole time last year. Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, I think Tariq's in a great spot. I think he's in a great spot. We had a great conversation today. Um, expected big things from him, you know. So uh, just like every, everyone else on the defense and on the rest of the team, we're going we're gonna to be pushing him because uh, there's greatness in there. That position group in general, that one you're pretty excited about with both the guys come back and then you add a couple corners in the draft. Yeah, yeah, very. I mean, Ooh. we're really excited about our secondary, and I think there's some some flexibility there. We can get to some some personnel groups where guys moving around, play matchup ball a little bit. But uh, I think they're they're in a good spot. Um, and again, I mean, we'll see. You know, it's just kind of the guys had a great two days. We've stacked, and let's go back to work. You know, have another great OTA tomorrow, and, and then see where we're at, kind of going to the next day. So. Uh, one day at a time. What do you like about Witherspoon inside? <laughs> I mean, where do I start? I mean, uh, great feel for the game. I mean, just it kicks things up really quick, but just um, understands ball and plays at a really, really fast speed. But when you know at nickel, there's a lot of action in there, and so um, you know when guys have that type of skill set, you can kind of get them around the action as much as possible. So he'll do all the things. He'll blitz, man zone, play deep air of the field. So it's a it's a it's a fun position to play. Rayshon Jenkins, what have you seen out of him so far? Um, shoot, I mean, the things we anticipated off of tape and off of like reputation and kind of doing our homework, but uh, he's going to be a leader on this football team, so we're going to count on him. And he's very talented. He's a guy that we can, you know, play matchup with, and he can, you know, again, he can do all the things we ask from a from a safety in our system. So uh, off to a great start, and we uh, we expect a big year from him. Anything else? Thank all right, you. thanks, guys. Thank you, sir. All right, but I'm going to watch the Gino one tomorrow. I ain't even going to lie. ones I wanted to see were the Dolphins, and they weren't even here. <gasps>
Jackson. White Tiger, and I'm here to move you. I wanted to see. Spirits are high, and we're playing. All right, I'm done.